Cooper, what you got there? I got the Joe Strummer Campfire guitar. I've got the Campfire. Hey, you're watching Alamo Music TV. My name is Chris McKee. And I'm Cooper Greenberg. We're here with Alamo Music Center in San Antonio, Texas. You can find us online at alamomusic.com. If you're new to our channel, make sure to subscribe, turn on notifications, hit that like button. If you'd like to support the channel, visit our Teespring store linked below for our custom designed t-shirts, like the storefront shirt. And Cooper's over here, I'm over here, and someone over here selling things. Anyways, <laughs> welcome to our channel. <laughs> We are checking out today a new guitar. It's a, interesting because it's a signature model acoustic from Fender, which is unusual, and it's a kind of a travel size guitar. This is the Joe Strummer Campfire Acoustic. Yep. What do you know? What do you know, Joe? I'm, I'm actually not quite sure how many campfires Joe Strummer was hanging around back in the punk days, but uh, he is somewhat of a sacred figure around my house, so it's cool to be able to play this. Um, it, I know it's a Fender acoustic guitar. It's small, it's kind of travel size, right? Mm -hmm. Got a Strat headstock on there. Yeah, it's kind of following their, I guess the California series of mm -hmm. acoustic guitars where it's not holding or beholden to traditional guitar norms, uh, which goes with Joe Strummer just perfectly fine. Hey, do you think that his parents knew before he was born that he was gonna be a guitar player and that's why they named him Joe Strummer? I think that Joe Strummer is a stage name. Oh, well that, it's disappointing. Okay, well, moving on to the guitar. <laughs> so it is actually a very affordable acoustic guitar. It's yeah. $4.99. It is a uh, kind of a shrunken down dreadnought shape. It does, like you said, have the traditional Fender kind of Strat style headstock on it. Tilted back though. Um, a very cool satin uh, finish. Star fretboard inlays, mm -hmm. uh, very cool. And it's an acoustic electric guitar. And it has a solid spruce top on it. So you get some of the additional resonance that we talk about on this channel that you get from a solid top versus it being all laminate. The back and sides are laminate mahogany construction. It's got a fender pickup system in it. So it's ready to go around the campfire or around the campfire that you have a PA system at, I suppose. Yeah, not too bad. <laughs> um, you know, it's interesting. When you, Chris texted me, said we're gonna do Joe Strummer signature. I got excited. I was expecting a Telecaster. Right. I went downstairs in the warehouse looking for that Tele and found this. It comes in a nice case, yeah. by the way. That's just a side note. It's got a nice padded gig bag, but it's a little upgraded. It's a nice case. Um, but you know, this is cool. I, f I think Joe Strummer crossed a lot of genres. He wasn't just punk. He did funk, some rockabilly, some yeah. reggae stuff, and of course, just songwriting wise, great songwriter. So this would be a nice, songwriter's guitar you know yeah it does and you know i think you know <laughs> playing the guitar i got the distinct feel that this guitar really is a, it's a campfire guitar mm -hmm. it's something that uh you know handles kind of your strumming and stuff very well it's got a bit of a lo-fi boxy tone mm -hmm. which i think goes perfectly well with like the punk and rockabilly stuff mm -hmm. uh yeah it, it it's great for what it is if you're looking for something that's like a super resonant finger style guitar this is not that um it's not supposed to be but even the setup i, I think would were, would perplex people that were looking for that the neck is very comfortable it's small mm -hmm. it's a short scale and it's a narrower nut so if you have smaller hands it's going to appeal pretty well to you um and yeah it's kind it's got kind of a, a boxy tone to it. Yeah, it's kind of cool. Very retro, kind of old school sound. Yeah. I think it goes well with the mahogany. Can't see it. Spruce and mahogany. Get yeah, nice the, the sand black finish is kind of my favorite part of the guitar. Yeah. That and the, and the, the star uh, inlays and you've got his signature yeah, on the very on back, the back of it. Yeah, signature, back of the headstock. Pretty cool. So it's not upside down if you're looking at it though. Yeah, that's it. Strum Joer on the other <laughs> way. Yeah. It's, <laughs> it's a Remunst 
Do you hear that? Is that Twin Peaks over here? Are we in the Black Lodge? <laughs> I'm just, just saying it backwards, and it was probably wrong anyway. So. <laughs> Anyways, overall, pretty cool new affordable guitar from Fender. Uh, we're going to put it through its paces so you can get an idea of its tone for yourself. Check it out. All right, so there you have it. So have you ever spent some time playing guitar around the campfire? Oh, I've been around the campfire once or twice, <laughs> let me tell you. <laughs> yes, how about you? You know, I am sometimes the guy, I, I tend to be that guitar player that always has the guitar, even when people don't want the guitar around. I'll, I'll be honest with you, I don't think I've ever brought a guitar to a campfire. I'm so scared of dirt and sand uh. and smoke damaging my yeah. instrument, I've never done it. I we, can't lie. You know I go camping a lot. You go camping quite a bit. And uh, you, we have an RV, and the only reason we have an RV is so that we can have air conditioning so that I can go camping all year long. Yeah. Otherwise, I'm perfectly happy in a tent or, or under the stars, but uh, I have a wife and she's not. So it's like, okay, I want to go camping as much as possible. Yeah. We'll get a little travel trailer and go. And I've, I always, I used to take my, my baby Taylor, I take my GS Mini with me. Uh, our son will bring his along. Yeah, nice. so we've, we've got two guitars with us. Where to find a place to put them in an RV is a whole nother video. Um, but yeah, I, you know, it's funny. I've never been afraid to kind of take it out and play. But there's something about that style of a guitar. Like a satin finished guitar tends to be more rough and tumble. Mm -hmm. You're not worried about what's going to happen with the finish. At least I'm not. Yeah. My totally. GS Mini certainly has areas of wear on it because mm -hmm. it, it gets taken about. I think that's what's great about a guitar like this that's satin finished, that's $4.99. Mm -hmm. It's not terribly expensive. You can kind of drag it around, not literally, but you can take it out and, and it's going to be just fine. Yeah. So, for yeah. sure. So the next time I have a campfire and everyone's like, we're trying to talk. Can you stop playing guitar? Yeah, this could be a good guitar for that. <laughs> yeah, especially f a nice family campfire with some clash. Yeah, yeah. Bring in the clash Protest along. songs. That's good <laughs> for the campfire, for sure. So pretty cool new addition to Fender's affordable line. If you'd like more information about this guitar or other acoustic guitars, 
go on over to our website, alamomusic.com. You can also click on the link below in the description to get directly to the product information about this guitar. It is a new introduction, so they are just rolling out. I think these are the first few that we've gotten so far. Overall, pretty cool, particularly for the price. So make sure you head over there and check it out. And also message us if you have questions about this or other campfire-centric guitars that you might want to take on your next truck this coming summer. Uh, someone online can answer all of your questions uh, live and in person. Is it live or is it Memorex? You're probably too young to even remember that commercial. Yeah, I don't, I don't watch commercials, Chris. Oh, sorry. I'm on demand, <laughs> all right? <laughs> yeah, you pay for the additional Hulu thing. Yeah, yeah. I, and then they still put... Do you even watch TV? I watched a little TV. We had, the, we had yeah. this interesting conversation. I'm just going to out you on YouTube right now that he had no, no video game consoles growing up. This is why you're a good guitar player. Thanks to my parents on that one. Yes. They, they forbade me from video games. I'm cool with it now. I don't, Joe Strummer had no video game consoles growing up. <laughs> Never, ever. <laughs> he wasn't playing RuneScape. No. Like a, Pong? Yeah, maybe. <laughs> maybe. maybe. Yeah. Anyways. So there you have it. Thanks so much for watching. If you're new to our channel, make sure to subscribe. Help us get to that 100,000 mark. Hit uh, the like button, turn on your notifications. Comment below, tell us what you think, and keep coming back for more. At the end of the day, the very best campfire guitar is... The one Joe Strummer's name is on. There you Just go. kidding, the one that you're making music on. So keep playing around the campfire and everywhere else. We'll see you next time. Once again, you guys, thank you very much for watching. Uh, if you want to learn more about the guitar, check out Alamo Music. Hey everybody, I love guitar videos just like you do. But guess what? Alamo Music Center has another YouTube channel. You can check out all the piano and keyboard reviews that we have and see more of me. Cooper, do we have another one of those? He's fine. <laughs>